Well, for months, the world has been dealing with the impact of COVID-19. The pandemic has had a major impact on events and celebrations. With Halloween about a month away, how will trick-or-treating look this year? Eyewitness News' Miranda Meister takes a look at what Indiana's top doctor and parents are saying. The question is being asked, will there be trick-or-treating in October? Indiana Health Commissioner Christina Box still does not have the answer. I think that it's a little bit early to call where we should be on, you know, October, uh, late October at this point in time. But if a county's or a community's numbers are low, I think that Halloween can occur safely. Parents I spoke with say they aren't worried about going door-to-door -door this year. I think that we're just going to be careful and, and I'm going to let them do it. Rick Stevens is a father of two. He says although they plan to celebrate this year, things Things will look a little different. Kids are not going to touch candy. They're going to have the people drop it into their into the bags, and when they get home, my wife and I are going to put on gloves, put on hand sanitizer, whatever we're going to do. We're going to clean off everything before the kids have access to it. The candy company Hershey launched a website to show people how to trick or treat safely in every county of the United States. The color coded map displays the COVID-19 risk level in each area. You can find it on our website, tristatehomepage.com. For example, Posey and Warwick counties are labeled red, while Vanderburgh County shows orange. In Kentucky, Union County is red, while Henderson and Davies counties are orange. Red is a color indicating a high number of cases. Halloween's one of those things that while celebrating, you're typically already wearing a mask. In Owensboro, Ghostly Productions, a Halloween themed store, is set up for business taking requests for their most popular costume. Michael Myers, that's always big. Uh, creepy clowns, those are always big. As of now, local government in the tri-state has not announced a plan for restrictions on Halloween. Miranda Meister, Eyewitness News.